are in the Minillas sector of Bayamón at the moment. This is where I grew up. I had a lot of fun growing up here. When summer came along, my parents would drop me off at my grandma's. It was happy. It was happy. Like, I can't say it wasn't. I did whatever I wanted to. I was barefoot all the time running around. And I loved going to my grandma's because it was like free turf. I did whatever I wanted to do. Not a lot has changed, really. It's, and I love that about where I come from. Like, somehow, in this part of Bayamón, life seems to stay the same. I treasure that. There's a lot of iconic places here in Bayamón. Like, El Canto Mall is a mall, a mall that's like literally falling to pieces. You go in and like, they're like pieces of the roof are like missing. Like, what's going on here? So I think, I think that's iconic. I think it serves as like even a metaphor of like how Puerto Rico is and how we survive here. There is no efficiency. Things are literally falling to pieces around you, but you somehow just keep it strutting and, and going. I think this is pretty iconic to me because I spent a lot of like my childhood here. It's uh, basically a baseball field and it's like something we have here as like a community centered thing. And this has been here since I can remember and I did like a lot of bad things around here. Good things, you know, good bad things, things that you have to do when you're young. I was able to grow up here, I guess, like in a little safer pocket. But uh, Bayamón in general, I feel like, um, is known for like Malianteo. Being the home of like Ijo Abuda. I feel like that's something we take a lot of pride in. We are a proud people, especially like in Bayamón, and we're also proud of like our roots and our calle and like, I don't know, the, the way we like handle things. There's a lot of violence in Bayamón. I'm not proud of that, but um, I guess it gives you an edge. Yeah, I, I reference where I come from, like in my songs, in like, my style, and the way that I'm like cocky. There's probably people who have like misconceptions about Bayamon, but I also think that there are a lot of like conceptions, period, that aren't even like misconceptions because they can be true. Bayamon is very violent, but like, um, drug related violence, and I don't think that's a misconception. That's that's the truth. That's the reality. And I've been in like dangerous situations because it's, it's crazy, like there's no escaping them. So like, I haven't heard any anything from Bayamon that's bad, that isn't true. I still love it, you know, I'm, it's my place, but it has a lot of flaws. So I would say that like coming from here really makes you like a badass.